This is a virus infected cell. During viral life cycle, double stranded RNA or dsRNA is produced. The dsRNA induces the expression of IFN alpha and IFN beta by the virus infected cell. The IFN alpha or beta stands for interferon alpha or beta. The IFN alpha and beta are type 1 interferons. IFN alpha or beta and activation of natural killer cells bring about innate immune response to viral infection. The virus infected cells plasma membrane has IFN alpha or beta receptors. The IFN alpha or beta then binds to the IFN alpha or beta receptor. This binding activates jack start pathway. This jack start pathway induces transcription of several genes and produce many mRNAs. One mRNA undergo translation to produce 2,5-A synthetase. This binding also induces the production of PKR in its inactive form. The PKR is otherwisely called as dsRNA dependent protein kinase. 2,5-A synthetase stands for 2'-5'-prime oligoadenylate synthetase. PKR stands for protein kinase R. In presence of 2,5-A synthetase, the cytosolic ATP is converted into 2,5-A. The 2,5-A then induces cytosolic inactive RNase L to form active RNase L. The active RNase L then causes the degradation of viral poly-A mRNA. This degradation of viral poly-A mRNA causes the inhibition of protein synthesis. This inhibition of protein synthesis then blocks the viral replication. The inactive PKR in the presence of ATP and dsRNA is converted into a PKR having an activated conformation. The activated PKR then causes phosphorylation of EIF2. EIF2 stands for Eukaryotic Initiator Factor 2. Due to this phosphorylation, EIF2 GDP is formed. The EIF2 GDP is non-functional in nature. This non-functional EIF2 GDP causes inhibition of protein synthesis. This inhibition of protein synthesis then blocks the viral replication. Now, important point, macrophages, monocytes, fibroblasts can synthesize IFN alpha and IFN beta. Please like, subscribe and share.